Hello everyone. Welcome to session two of software testing made easy course. In this video session, I am going to explain why software testing is required and what will happen if we don't perform testing. So these are the several things that will happen guys. If we release an application into the market without testing it. Let's start with one after the other things. So first thing is a buggy software with less quality may get released into the market. For example, Let's say there is a sample application like this tutorials ninja.com slash demo and we are planning to release into the market this application, but we are not performing any testing. Okay, without testing this application, if we release this application into the market, what will happen? Lot of lot of defects may come guys. lot of uh, bugs may still stay in the application after getting released into the market. Uh, let me give an example here. Let's say I want to purchase this iPhone as an end user. This application has been released into the market without performing any testing. Now as an end user, if when I try to add this product to the cart, this button may not work. Okay. If this button will not work, that means there is a defect guys. In this application, the developers have missed some code. Okay. They didn't attach any code for adding this uh, product to the cart and then proceed to purchase this product. I cannot purchase this iPhone guys because of the defect in the defect or bug in this application. I may not be able to add this item to cart and then proceed with the purchasing of this iPhone. That means this application is a buggy application. Okay, this application which is not tested is a buggy application. So the first thing that will happen if you don't perform testing and then release the product into the market is the buggy software with less quality. If there are some bugs in the application, if the end user is using an application which is kind of having some bugs or defect, that means the application is having the less quality. The quality is not well, okay? The less quality product will be released into the market and the end user will be unhappy. This is the first thing that will happen. What about second thing? Second thing is uh, business reputation will be lost. Let's say, let me give some example of the business reputation. So let's say the same application guys. I don't want to take uh, some real time application. So I'm just taking this demo application only. So let's say this application is there and uh, the user uh, the user has tried to purchase something. Let's say a user has tried to purchase this uh, monitor Apple Cinema 30 or some product from this application. And what happened is when he purchased because of some defect, okay, since the application is not tested and there is some defect here and uh, because of the defect, what happened is uh, even though you purchased only one item, 10 items order has been placed. What will happen guys? The customer will be definitely very unhappy, right? Because he will understand that application is not tested properly and got released into the market. And uh, he has placed, uh, he has actually faced a lot of, uh, uh, lot of issues with this, right? A lot of headache he may have get because he only purchased one product item here, but uh, because of the defect in this application, let's say, uh, let's assume that because of a defect in this application, 10 products have been ordered. He ordered only one, but uh, because of the defect in this application, 10 products, that is 10 Apple Cinema 30, uh, 30 inch things have been ordered, okay? Order has been placed for 10 things, 10 quantity instead of one, even though you placed one. So customer will be very unhappy and uh, will have a lot of headache. He has to go through a lot of customer support and all those stuff, right? So what will happen next time will the customer will purchase the same product from this, uh, Will the customer purchase any other product from this application guys? No, because this will lose the reputation. Okay, the application has already lost the rep reputation from the customer. The customer, once he get a kind of feeling like uh, there is a bug in the application, he will not use the application next time onwards guys. Okay, next time onwards, he will not be ready to use the application. He may go for an alternative application. He may go for, there are a lot of alternative applications in the market like Amazon, Flipkart and all those stuff. If this application is having some uh, defect and because of that, the customer is facing some problems, then means that means the business reputation of this application will be lost and the customer has to, will actually choose alternative applications for the next time onwards, okay? He'll not use this application and uh, this will result in business reputation loss, okay? Business reputation loss will happen. Third thing. Third thing that may happen if you don't perform testing and uh, you directly release the application, buggy application into the market. What will happen is for example, uh, I'll take some general exam. Instead of software, I will take some general uh, example so that you can understand this line easily. 
customer may file a case in court so let's say you have released a product into the market uh, let's say that is a beauty product okay some beauty cosmetic kind of thing so when uh, this is like a cream some kind of powder or something when you apply to your face uh, this company is uh, okay mentioning that uh, your skin skin will glow and all those stuff and then uh, believing that you have purchased this product from the company and uh, after using it uh, for uh, one week right uh, suddenly you got some issues with your skin what you will do guys the customer will immediately raise a case okay he will raise a case against this company who has sold this product okay so sometimes what happens is the customer will win the case and uh, the company has to pay a lot of amount okay the uh, the customer has to the client has to okay the company has to pay a lot of amount uh, to solve this case right this kind of situations will happen guys okay so if they these are like uh, without uh, following the standards if you release a product in the market without testing the uh, testing the uh, whatever the product okay with a lot of people in the market if you directly release the product so if one of the customer is facing an issue he will raise a case in the court and co court will be mostly towards the customer only and the company has to bear the loss they need to pay pay huge amount as ordered by the court they have to pay lot of amount so that kind of situations will happen guys okay so next thing so similarly software also if uh, some kind of situation in xyz situation the same thing applies where the the customer has faced some problem and he raised a case okay the client has to the, the company uh, that sold the software or something has to bear that loss okay they need to pay a lot of amount as ordered by the client i mean uh, ordered by the court to the customer or some other things okay so the next thing next thing that may happen if you don't perform testing on the software or something okay sales may get dropped i'll take this example if you have not uh, tested this application well and uh, so what's happening is like uh, here let's say this sales may get dropped or uh, okay sales may get dropped let's uh, take that example let's say this uh, this this is a product uh, that customer can purchase from this application and he went there and uh, he he thought of giving all these options but somehow uh, like he is not able to proceed to the next page after filling all these options also he is not able to proceed there is a defect in this application because this application is not tested properly and uh, which was resulting in some defects it's a buggy application and because of that uh, the customer is not able to purchase this product from this website so what happens guys what will happen if the customer is unable to purchase some products from this website simple guys revenue will uh, sales will get dropped okay less sales will happen the, this product will not be sold because customer is is in uh, is interested in buying this product from this application but uh, he is not able to purchase it so what happens the sales will drop you will not see any sales the company which is running this application will not see any sales that will eventually result in revenue loss right the result of not getting sales is revenue loss lo lo loss of revenue will happen fine so so far these are the reasons and uh, some extraordinary reason i will provide guys this is something that may not happen in the general case but uh, in some cases this may also happen i'll give some example loss of life also may happen okay if you don't test the software properly if you don't perform any testing on the software and uh, you directly release the application into the market without testing it properly or without testing it at all okay the loss of life also may happen in some cases let's uh, let me give some examples in which cases the loss of life may happen let's say uh, there is some hospital and uh, uh, the hospital to this hospital uh, some xyz company is selling some some kind of uh, machinery okay some kind of machinery which can actually operate on the patients these are like a very advanced machinery uh, instead of the doctor this machines can perform the operations let's say the person is uh, here and uh, the machine is performing the operations the machine is performing the this machine is performing the operation on this uh, so how does how does this machine perform the operation definitely there will be some software okay there will be some software installed in this machine and because of the instructions provided in the software this uh, machine will perform operation on the patient now on the other side let's say there is a doctor here okay on the other side let's say on the other side of this software 
there's some doctor who is providing the input saying that uh, okay so this person has some problem with the left brain okay there is some tumor on the left brain uh, that need to be removed with the help of this machine now this uh, let's say this doctor has given an input saying that a left okay operate the left side of the brain and remove the tumor let's say let's assume guys okay let's say this software has uh, taken this left and uh, but uh, instead of left it performs the operation on the right and because of that what may happen guys the person may lose the life also okay there is a life risk also here here yeah, not only like it's a life risk sometimes there may be life risk sometimes there may be unnecessary operation may happen so this kind of cases guys one more example i'll give you uh, where uh, the life risk may happen let's say uh, there is a kind, a kind of air airlines kind of company and uh, this airlines company is uh, running some aeroplanes and this uh, this aeroplanes uh, have some software let's say okay autopilot mode or some kind of software is installed here and now let's say the pilot has turned the autopilot mode and uh, because of some defect in the software the aeroplane has lost its line uh, like lost its uh, kind of location and uh, it went in a different path and uh, and met with an accident what will happen guys lot of lives will be lost right because of this uh, defect in the software in such kind of cases of the aeroplane software like autopilot mode lot of lives will be lost so if you don't test the software properly and uh, then release into the market the issues may be like severe only okay it will be loss of reputation or it may be like customer may raise a case okay financial loss may happen here because of the case sales will get dropped revenue loss will happen in some cases loss of life also may happen so lot of uh, problems will happen guys that's why any software before releasing into the market need to be tested properly okay and then released without without testing if you release a uh, application or software into the market you will face this kind of issues so hope guys you understood uh, this session so that is guys thank you bye